We have a new front frame on the machine, and we did make some good uh, durability improvements. We have a larger lower hitch in the 988K. We actually put in a uh, 40 mil plate in the middle there instead of 30. We made the pin and bearing larger. The OD went from 100 mil to 136. We've also improved the rear axle trunnion. I know you can't see it here, but on the 88K, we've actually made it a wider solid steel bolted joint. Uh, we removed the cast that used to be in between the axle and the trunnion for improved durability. For serviceability, we also have case strain screens on the hydraulic system that are now standard. So we want to protect the system if there is any debris in there and make sure we contain it so it doesn't spread. Uh, we also have uh, axle oil cooler package available. It's not shown on this machine, but if you are doing load and carry work, we always recommend an axle oil cooler, which is integrated now to the cooling package, also has screens on it as well for improved serviceability. On the 88K, we do have a jump start receptacle, battery disconnect. We also have a diesel exhaust fluid purge light. So when you shut this machine down, we're actually going to purge the DEF lines and make sure there's no DEF in there, because if the machine sits overnight, obviously the DEF could freeze. So this light gives you an indication that the DEF has been purged out of the system. Uh, you also have access to the engine compartments through our doors on the stairways. On the 88K, we're powered by a C18 engine, 580 gross, 541 net. Our CAT emissions module is on top of the C18. Again, we're under 750, a little different than over because we have the diesel exhaust fluid. So we're using that as a catalyst inside the emissions module. Uh, to meet the emissions. But you also have access to your fuel filters, primary, secondary, tertiary, engine oil dipstick, engine oil fill, high speed oil change as well from inside the engine enclosure. Behind here you also have access to your engine air filter. You can service that. Uh, engine cooling also in, in front there. The cooling package has been simplified uh, for tier 4 on the 88. It's now one iron set. So it's much easier to go from a standard fan speed to a high fan speed. So if you move the machine geographically uh, or you potentially sell it to a new customer, you can just flash the machine and it'll change it to uh, a high ambient package. Here's our actual diesel exhaust fluid point. It's the same side as the fuel tank, the left hand side. Every time you fuel up the 88K, uh, you need to fill it up with depth. It's a one to one ratio. Uh, but this is a eight and a half gallons or 32 liters. Our fuel capacity is 188 gallons. Def consumption is about two and a half to three percent of your fuel burn. What we're seeing on 88Ks in field follow uh, is about eight and a half to nine gallon per hour uh, burn rate. So your def consumption would be two and a half percent of that, two and a half to three. We also have safety features in the left hand bumper. We do have an emergency shutdown switch. So if you are walking up to the machine and there's an emergency, this would actually cut fuel to the engine and shut it down. If you are servicing the machine, you can lock out the transmission. So if you want the engine to run, but not the machine to be able to go into gear, you can lock out the, the tranny. You can also lock out the starter so the engine won't crank. You also have a stairway light switch for access at night. So when you go up the machine, got good visibility, you can turn that off when you get inside the cab. Our axle oil cooler package now, uh, that's actually fully integrated into the engine cooling package. It used to be separate out on the tank, we brought it to the back of the machine. Uh, it's more efficient, uh, easier to install too if you, if you buy a kit later on. Those solenoids on the 88K are now serviceable from ground level. We have a cutout here between the tire and the tank, much easier to get to than in years past. Conventional fuel fill is right here at ground level. You can also do fast fuel. Our auto loop tank, which is our automatic greaser for the linkage and the hitch, that's actually on top of the tank now and it's been sunk below the upper platform. That's great for safety. That platform up there is all now one level and it's completely cleared out. The auto loop tank now sits on top. And you can fill the auto loop tank from ground level as well. There's an automatic fill right here with a fill light. Transmission sight gauge, also right here, ground level, transmission fill. Your hydraulic sight gauge is on the right-hand side, also visible from ground level. 